all right guys so after seeing my timeline of this truck this is what it stands at right now uh, you guys kind of saw how it got to be this way I just put that video up for that decal um, one thing I will be doing in the upcoming days that I didn't mention was I will be swapping out these rims uh, I've been I've been seeking the fuel hostages they're similar style but I want that lip you know I, I one other thing that I need to get is the uh, the um, the one and a half inch uh, spacers I definitely need those I don't like the way it sits like right now but the last time that I had them uh, if you don't grease them up properly like I did um, you end up having to beat them loose, you know, and you'll damage your wheel like I did on mine. Um, actually, it happened on two of them. Uh, these mirrors are going to have to go. Uh, that rack. Definitely going to have to modify it. So I'll show you guys in a minute. Kind of like the plans that I want to do, but show you guys a visual picture that way it's like a little sketch but that's gonna be completely modified um been wanting to do like a chase style rack I'll go, I'll go show you guys right now what i have uh once i do the modifications i might jump up to a 35 inch tire right now it's the 33s um I don't know if I'll be modifying anything down here, but I will have to modify my my hitch. Um, let me see what else, what else, what else. Interior. Um, I have tons of parts for this thing that I've been accumulating throughout the time. I don't ever have enough time in the day to get everything done. I will be putting in a, a center console from a Tahoe on there. I just got to paint it and, and slap it in. Uh, I'll be making a custom box for the bottom of the seat. I was going to swap out the seat, but plans have changed. Now I need the seat. Uh, so I'll be making a video on making a sound system that goes underneath. Uh, something very simple, very easy. Um, got to rewire all my TVs. I got like five TVs in there right now. Um, but they've been sitting idle for a while. I disconnected everything a long time ago and it's just been sitting. Um, I got to redo, retouch up all my, my paneling, everything inside. Mostly everything inside there is is painted with uh, with gloss black, like an actual car paint. Um, so I'll, I'll save that for another day. I'll show you guys the interior once I actually... Right now it's a mess. I've been using this truck for work for the last couple of years and been kind of neglecting it. So it's a mess right now. A little embarrassed to show you guys so <laughs> uh, we'll leave that for another day but um, one other thing that I want to mention is everything for the most part other than like some sound system stuff everything that I've ever put in this truck is all been either bought from Craigslist uh, mostly Craigslist um, now that offer up came out I've been getting a bunch of things from offer up um, you can definitely modify a truck or a car on a budget and make it look super clean I mean you just have to have the right touches you know but I I, I don't think I've invested as much money as you would people would think just by looking at it honestly you know like I, I do a lot of trading I find good deals uh, clean paint resell I mean you guys have witnessed some of my videos um, and then at, at times I'll just barter you know and trade straight across uh, for certain things and I mean this truck has seen so many parts uh, put on it back and forth um, <clears throat> I was already thinking of changing the color again you know but I'm gonna leave it alone for a while just gotta have it detailed have the paint polished and buffed out a little bit I think that'll make me happy um, <clears throat> so cool let me show you guys what I have planned for this and then We'll end it there. 
I'm in one of my, the messy parts of my house right now. I'm just going to show you guys. Uh, a lot of people ask me for uh, um, either follow-ups or future plans. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Um, <clears throat> as far as future plans, I have this 20-inch uh, uh, light bar from Oxbeam that I plan on putting on that rack on the back area towards the bed. <clears throat> got the the HD mirrors those the towing mirrors those are gonna be slapped on uh, in the next couple of days it's got to get some time to uh, do a video um, I don't know a lot of people be hating on those uh, <laughs> those tow mirrors that I have but I actually like those I they, I feel like they've they look sporty you know and that's why I kept them I could have bought these things a long time ago and slapped them on but I think that uh, now since I'm gonna end up getting it close to a 10 inch lift uh, It'll look a lot nicer with these before these seems like they were too big, but uh, So that's gonna be an upcoming video also, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, Insert a turn signal in there in between the in between the uh, the mirrors and Then wire them up to your turn signals. It's a little easy hack um Sorry, I got a mess over here. This is this is my the area that my wife allows me to keep all my junk and all my stuff that I pile up. You guys seen the video on how I put that thing together. Um, this here is a 52 inch uh, light bar, also from Oxbeam. Uh, this thing is sweet. I'm gonna slap this thing up in the front, right above my 50 inch curved. You guys notice anything? That one has three rows of LEDs. Can't wait to install that. Uh, one other thing that I'm going to be putting on there is uh, you guys got to see how I slapped on the helper bags for the rear. I never put the leaf springs. I did. I just put the, um, what was it? I put the blocks, three inch blocks to raise it into the seven inch uh, lift. However, I always use the bags to maneuver it up and down because I like to be able to, to, to make it look different. You know, I don't like to, I, I never wanted it to just stay at one stance and then just live with it. I, I like to lean it sometimes and sometimes I like to make it level. And then if I put the bags at full uh, maximum uh, pressure, they actually rise up a little bit more towards the back. But usually when I'm towing. Uh, one thing I've been keeping an eye out for and I finally came across is uh, a compressor kit. I actually got two compressor kits, so that'll be an upcoming video, uh, how to wire this up. I got this one, it's a single uh, single gauge and I have one for dual gauge. I'm probably going to put the dual gauge, this one, on, to, on, on my truck, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, well, let me see, one other thing that I did want to show you guys, oh, got my speakers for the uh, sound system that I'm trying to put together. Since I really regret selling the um, the one that I had, I picked this up on offer up for approximately seventy seventy dollars. Uh, let me get out of these. These are actually a quick little glimpse too of some uh, some traction bars that I have planned on building for it. Once I lift it up to the ten inches, I'm definitely going to have to. Um, finish this off so I'm gonna do that it's one other upcoming video so this is uh, for a older version older model truck however all I need is these and obviously the bolts but uh, as it was missing a couple of pieces when I bought when I bought this I mean these sell for almost four hundred dollars so at 70 bucks it was a steal uh plus um as you guys can see i've been making little off brackets that i feel like i'm gonna end up needing um put a bunch of stuff together but but um this right here is gonna work for me reason why is because i don't have a rear bumper which the brackets were that are for this is for a different style uh bumper also it's missing the front brackets which I'm not going to need because I will be, um, not exactly sure when, but I will be modifying my bumper intensively or possibly even removing it completely. And 
and modifying it kind of like a pre-runner style but I want to have like a like a Frankenstein type like like a heavy duty pre-runner style mix you know so I'm not gonna need those brackets so all I need is these spacers uh, I just need to order one of the um, the steering wheel extensions so once I have that this will be a definitely uh, upcoming project uh, that should take my truck up to a 10 inch lift which would make it a 7 inch pro comp lift with a 3 inch body lift so that's another project that I have in the works um, <clears throat> got a bunch of stuff in here actually I haven't even gotten into any videos for my bicycles I, it's one of my other hobbies is I love, love putting bikes together um, modifying intensively that one I'm working on right now but that's just on the back burner for now uh, so yes this is one of my messy bunch of new parts that I've been ordering um, so yeah right now this is what I have for you guys let me show you guys a quick little quick little idea uh, kind of like a, a rough draft that I did this is kind of what I want to make I just made those brackets today so that's what uh, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how easy it is to be able to make a rack like this uh, for very for a very low price very inexpensive you if you guys go back and see one of my other videos that I've made uh, I've made a bunch of custom racks in the past. I never ever ever recorded any or took pictures You know, I just never thought I'd be doing this however um, I've always been on the budget, you know, I've always built to try to increase profits. I've always done a bunch of things um, With what I have on hand So I don't like to spend, you know, I would never spend a thousand dollars Two thousand dollars for a rack like this you know, I would rather just build it. I picked that rack up, that's a, that ugly, <laughs> rusted rack that's on my truck. I picked that thing up for $100 on OfferUp. Uh, you can find them on Craigslist. Uh, I see them all the time for up to $250 for a decent one, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to have it powder coated once it's done. So, um, this is, this was just, I just did something to fill it in. I'm going to do something totally different here. But, I'm going to try to use most of the tubing that's already there. I'm going to try to use, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to need to pre-buy some bends uh, or have a shop bend some for me because the uh, the pipe bender that I have is not going to be able to bend that one and three quarters. Um, not only that, I don't think I have the ability, I think it'll kink the, the, the that pipe, the one I have. So... Um, up here is going to be the 52 inch that you, uh, light bar that you guys just saw. And then down here I want to put the 20 inch. reason why I want to put that one there is because that one has a lot of colors. It comes with different colors and I want to be able to shoot that out towards the back when we go out to the mountains and you know have the ATVs and the trailer and all that stuff. Just for the fun of it. I don't really want to aim it forward and have colors. I'd rather, I see it more, to my liking I see it more shooting towards where we're going to be chilling. You know maybe have a, a campfire or something. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to build my trailer to kind of like with a deck and stuff so you know that that might give us some ambient lighting I don't know also I wanted to be able to just drive my ATV up there and lock it in with using a probably a bar with a with a plastic or a rubber um, matting in the center so that it doesn't like, damage anything on the ATV Pinning the bar in place that way the ATV is locked in and it can't move um, As far as that I'll be adding some more LED lighting up there uh, Other than that a um, Couple other videos that I have planned tinting out my headlights, so I got to show you guys that I want to redo all the tint on my on my on my doors uh I don't know how many times I have to get fix it tickets for those I've gotten like maybe three or four rip them off back on rip them off back on so it's a never-ending story I'll be redoing my bed also that's another thing I forgot to mention I did the turkey liner on this about four about five years ago 
And as you guys could tell, in and out, throwing stuff around, everything is, is worn. So I have to redo that Herky liner. So that's an easy $100 DIY. Uh, rather than six, seven hundred dollars for a bed liner, um, the traction bars. I want some real clean, custom traction bars that that uh, I'll be making that I think you guys will really like. So, right now, like I said, it's a seven-inch Pro Comp lift. Uh, bring it up to ten inches. Then I will have to make some rock sliders to simulate also steps because um, I definitely need those on the passenger side for sure. Uh, so yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it. I really appreciate your guys' views, your comments. Uh, well, there are some comments that I pretend that I never read, <laughs> to be honest with you, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, it I do this mostly to, you know, whoever sees this, I get a lot of compliments, a lot of people telling me that, you know, my videos help them out, so... Uh, that's really what moves me on, you know. I, I keep, I, I enjoy that. Uh, I do about ninety percent to ninety-five percent of the stuff myself. Um, there's some things that I just don't meddle in, you know. If I'm not, a, if I'm not at all knowledgeable in that area, I'll just leave it alone, you know. Um, I'll have it, somebody else do it, but for the most part, I enjoy this. So, you know, I'm glad that you guys have. Um, benefited from my channel you know i'm not that big yet but you know i plan to um now that i'm back to eight hours at work it gives me a couple extra hours every day to be able to shoot videos or get my some of my projects rolling uh been working pretty much about 10 hour days for the past two two and a half years so um you know it takes a toll on you 